Jason with Tech Labs here. We're in the NZXT booth and I really just wanted to take a moment to, uh, to talk to you about power supplies. One of the most overlooked components of a system and I wanted to take the opportunity to explain why it's important. And uh, this is just, it represents a good opportunity to, to bring across to you the value or, or lack of value that you're getting with a power supply. Um, so let's say for a moment, skip the power supply. Most users, when they're going to buy a system, will think first about video card and motherboard and CPU and RAM and then fill in the gaps around that. So what we have here, as you can plainly see, is a very high-end system. Four 7970s, most users are not going to have that. I can't expect that most of you are going to have four video cards in your system. Uh, a very nice motherboard, completely stacked with RAM all the way over, uh, high-end uh, AMD Phenom processor. Uh, for this matter, it could be an Intel i7-3770, uh, 3770K. So, obviously, a good deal of money was spent in building the system. For sake of argument, let's say there's only one video card in there, and you've spent your money on a 680 or a 7970, okay? You're still talking about a, a, a pretty good financial investment in building that system. You've bought a good, decent motherboard that has all the expandability options that you want, and it looks cool. And you've bought a good processor to run the whole thing because, of course, processing is important. So now, you're talking about $1,000 just in your system. So. All of a sudden, now, most users have decided, well, the power supply is not really that big a deal. Energy efficiency is important these days, but most users could really care less. I mean, mom and dad is paying the bill, right? You're going to plug it in all day, 24-7, dad's going to pay the bill. Who cares? If you're paying the bill yourself, you still probably don't care, because you're still talking about, what, dollars and cents difference, 40 bucks. Most users are going to pay that, because they're going to want to leave their system on all the time. They don't want to come over and push the power button, have it come up. So you're going to leave it on. So why buy the most efficient power supply you can? There's a good reason why your power supply is important. You've made this financial investment into all this stuff, and yet you're willing to cheap out on the most critical component in the system. This supplies the power to everything in your box. It has the very capability of destroying everything in your box. Now, Let's say the power supply dies. It has just surged your motherboard, your video cards, your CPU. Now you got lucky. Your motherboard's dead, your CPU is good, but your video card's also dead. So you're out two, three hundred dollars in your video card. You're out another two, three hundred dollars in your CPU. Now you turn around, get really angry, pound the crap out of your out of your power supply, and you call up ATI or Nvidia and say, "I need a new video card because my power supply died." You know what they're going to tell you? Call up. Call up whoever you bought that power supply from. You know what they're going to tell you? We're happy to replace your power supply. They're not going to do anything for you for your video card. They're not going to do anything for your CPU. So you can cheap out on a power supply, but it has a very capability of being a time bomb and blowing up your system at a random event. It may not protect you. So you can cheap out and buy a $39 power supply. And the, the moral of the story here is that not all power supplies are equal. So what we have here, we're at the NZXT uh, suite, and we have a pretty high-end, pretty high-speed power supply here. 1,200 watts, am I right? Yeah, this is a 1,200 watt. Now, some of you may not be familiar with what you're looking at here, but if you'll notice, there is a lack of wires inside this power supply. Less wiring you have, the more efficient power supply you have because you're not running electricity through an inefficient wire. Instead, you're using PCB, okay, solid copper, copper traces. Now, you see that wire, that, that white, sorry, PCB? Please explain to me what that is. Uh, basically, this PCB is made and designed by white solder resistant. And this white solder resistant is very uh, professional and very performance to enlarge. And, and why should my readers be concerned about how professional it is? Because this is care about the reliability. Of okay, the so again, there's the key term. 
reliability. You're going to reliably deliver power to your system without noise, without ripple, without your, your spikes or your lows. That is going to damage your components over time. You start getting artifacting, your video card starts heating up, you, you start having problems with your components. That may not be that components, that may not be the manufacturer's fault. Your power supply could be killing your components over time. So, this 1200 watt power supply, my readers want to go buy this in a brick and mortar, they want to put their hands on it. Where are they going to go? Uh, this product will be available around the end of January. Uh, where are they going to go to actually buy it? Uh, basically, we will uh, skew this item to most of our US channel, including like Newark, Price, and Michael Center. What about uh, Best Buy? What about Tiger Direct? Uh, we will work on those channels soon. Okay. Uh, well, Tiger, it's in your court, man. You guys should pick up a power supply like this. It's important to our readers. Modular design, again, efficiency here. You've got expansion for pretty much all of your needs. That's why power supply is important to your system. You buy the wrong power supply, you are gambling with your money. Stay tuned for a review on this, techworldlabs.com.